In today's class we will, sh we will see something different than in the previous lessons. I will show you a list of some of the most frequent false friends in Spanish, right? The title then is Spanish false cognates or false friends, right? With English. So the false cognates or false friends are those words that uh, when you read them they are almost identical to words uh, in English, right? So intuitively people can uh, translate them into the word that they look like that, uh, in English, yes? But they mean something different, so they are very confusing. And some of these words, unfortunately, they are very, very used and uh, common in, in, in the language, okay? So we will see some of the most uh, used ones, right? Although the list it has hundreds of uh, false friends. So we will begin with the most, uh, some of the most used false friends. So the word actual, right? The Spanish word actual, that it, uh, it's identical to the English word actual, right? However, actual means current right? While the English word actual in Spanish it translates as real, okay? So the English word actual is real in Spanish and the Spanish word actual in English it means current. Therefore the word actualmente does not translate to actually, right? Actualmente means currently or at present, while the word actually means realmente in Spanish, okay? This, this, uh, these two words are very much confused in, uh, when dealing with uh, uh, economic information in the news, okay? So the word for billion and trillion mean uh, totally different things in Spanish and in English. For example, billón or billón in Spanish, un billón means in English one trillion, while the word trillón means one quintillion. Okay? So to give you an idea in, in zeros, what this means is billón is this. Look at this. We have 12 zeros and then one, a one, okay? 12 zeros is billion in Spanish, while in English a billion would have only nine zeros, okay? The word for trillion in Spanish implies one, two, three, four, five, six. That is 18. 18 zeros is un trillion in Spanish, while in English one trillion would have only 12 zeros, okay? And this is, this is the reason for it. We have the thousands that are three zeros, right? The millions are six zeros. And now in English nine zeros is for the billions, however in Spanish nine zeros in Spanish we say mil millones, that is one thousand millions. So instead of saying un billón, like as in English, we say mil millones, one thousand millions. So what is one billion in Spanish? One billion in Spanish or un billón is one million millions, okay? And what is one trillion in Spanish? One trillion in Spanish is one million billions. Uh, sorry, one million Spanish billions, okay? That's why billion and trillion means something so different than billion and trillion in English. Atender. Atender does not mean attend, to attend. Atender means to pay attention, right? The word for to attend, the verb is the verb cuidar, right? 
and this is another false friend disgusto disgusto so disgusto it looks very similar to disgust right but it is not disgust disgusto means annoyance right when somebody uh, when for example I have received a very bad news so I'm disgustado or I have disgusto because I I received uh, bad something negative right so disgusto is annoyance but uh, but uh, usually in the sense of something emotional like for example um, yeah for example usually when when you receive a bad news okay that kind of annoyance disgusto while the word for disgust in Spanish would be asco or repugnancia Okay, repugnancia is repugnance. Asco means the same thing, right? That means disgust. Campo looks like camp, right? But campo means countryside. Somebody goes to the countryside means alguien va al campo. Campo. And the word for camp in Spanish would be campamento. Okay? Now these two words, they are identical to other English words that mean something totally different. The word pie, right? It, it's written the same as the word pie in English. However, the word pie means foot, right? And the word, the Spanish word for pie would be pastel. Pastel is a pie. And the word once. Once is written exactly the same as once, right? But once in Spanish means 11, the number 11. And the, the word once in Spanish translates as una vez or en cuanto, right? Depending on the situation. Can, it can be una vez, right? For example, uh, if we say once I have received this, then we would say, en cuanto haya recibido esto, okay? When we mean once in the sense of one time, then it is una vez, okay? Eventualmente does not mean eventually, it means probably. And the word that means eventually in Spanish is finalmente, okay? or tarde o temprano is another meaning for eventually. This is a very typical false friend. Look, embarazada. Embarazada means pregnant. Embarazada. Pregnant. And the word for embarrassed, embarrassed in Spanish means avergonzado. Avergonzado. Somebody is embarrassed. Alguien está avergonzado, okay? Or avergonzada, if it is uh, female, okay? Remember that in Spanish, the adjectives change to masculine or feminine, right? So, avergonzado or avergonzada. Same as embarazado, if it were a man, however, it's impossible that a man can be pregnant, right? So, embarazada is usually or always feminine, okay? Ganga. The word for ganga. Ganga does not mean gang. Ganga means bargain. So when we say that something is a ganga, we, we are saying that something is a bargain. Something is very cheap, okay? And the, the word gang, the English word gang means pandilla. Pandilla, right? That is a gang in Spanish. And this is one of the most typical false friends. The word parientes. Parientes. Parientes does not mean parents. Parientes means relatives. Relatives. So, what does the word parents mean? Parents means padres 